It's not what you think it is. Today I'm going to share 15 super practical, useful items for your next cruise that are unique. You haven't seen them on most of the list. So let's get started. Not this one. You've seen this one. So everybody knows you got to bring a power strip of some kind you can plug in to get more plugs in your cabin. How do you get even more plugs? Cat wants to know. <laughs> The way you get more plugs is you take an adapter and put it in the UK plug. So there's a UK plug, put that in. And now you have some extra plugs and some extra USBs. You do have to be careful with this. You can't use items that are only rated for 110. US is 110. UK and Europe is 230. So in order to use your appliance, you're gonna look at the tag to see, does it go, is it rated for both 110 and 230. Things like blow dryers, like hot rollers, straightening irons, those things you cannot use in this. So you wanna make sure before you plug something in that you're gonna be fine. The one thing is, is I'm gonna use it just for these USBs to have an extra USB. Speaking of USBs, bam, our next item. So this is super cool. It is a super, well, long cord. It's 10 feet long. It's a Belkin braided cord. My son's had his for like three years and you know, he's 22. So if a 22 year old has had something for three years, it's almost invincible. So it's 10 feet long. Why is that good? Oh my God. It's good because you're gonna plug it in and then it you it's gonna run from your adapter all the way to your bed. So that if you don't have a USB by your bed, now you do. Something you might charge is this cool device. So this, you take it out and about with you. And if your phone starts to run out of juice, bam, you just plug it right in. This one is called an iWalk. So I'm guessing it's for iPhones. I know a lot of you out there don't have an iPhone. So there are lots of different kinds of chargers. I just personally like this small one. But you can also get something a little bit larger. This actually has more power to it. And this has USB port. So if you want to charge, like let's say an iPad, you could do that with this. This is more of a life hack than a travel hack. Okay, so how many cords do you have in your house? And you can't figure out which is which. So what I do is I use a label maker. I make a little label. When I make it, I make it a little long so that the one side just kind of flips over and I can see exactly what it is. Another problem, you have all these cords and they make a big mess. Well, you could save those little twist ties that come with them, but this is these are super cool, kind of bendy, and you just kind of wrap it around your cords to keep them all in one place. <laughs> Now that we've seen some tech items that'll help you out, here's some packing items. A shower cap, or this is actually, you put on your hair to keep it nice and soft. So, but that's not how I use this. The way I use this is I put it over a pair of shoes and when you pack it, it keeps everything clean. So, you know, you could put your shoes like in a bag, in a shoe bag, but it takes up a lot of space. So this way it only takes up the space of your shoes. Speaking of luggage, I am not a light packer. So I'm always worried that my suitcase is gonna weigh too much. So this is a full scale, which you've probably seen this before, but I never had one, so I bought it. And this, you can weigh your luggage, and that way you know if you need to take something out and put it in your husband's luggage or your son's luggage so you don't go over. Now, one way to keep your luggage light is you can kind of cut down on how much laundry you bring by doing some laundry either in your sink or you can do it on the ship. Now, when you do it on the ship, you can go get laundry detergent or if you want, you can just bring, look how cool this is. These are just like, this is basically a strip of laundry detergent. So you can put this in the sink, it dissolves, you can wash things in the sink or you can take it to the laundry and throw them in the laundry. And that way this is super light. It doesn't take up any space in your luggage and you'll clean clothes and you don't have to breathe as many. Before I go on, please remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. When you're traveling on your cruise, you wanna 
keep your toothbrush off the counter. So one way to do that is you just clamp it in there and then this is a suction cup on it and you would just suction cup it to the mirror in the bathroom. A mirror is a good idea to bring too. This one I just picked up at the Dollar Tree. Then if, but if you have an electric toothbrush head like I do, you need a little bit bigger clamp. So I'll put a link to all this stuff in the description below, but clamps right on. Keeps your electric toothbrush nice and fresh. And then also your razor so that your razor's not just like rolling around in your bag. Just clamp it right on. I like to bring my own perfume, but I don't want to bring it in a big container. So this is super cool. You just take it out, unscrew it, and then just squirt. If your top comes off, my top doesn't come off this. So then I'll just squirt and fill it up. And then I have my beautiful little perfume to go. Grunchy. Yeah, what's so great about that? What's so special? Ooh, wait till you see. There's a zipper. So let's just say you're going on an excursion and you're gonna go to the beach, the pool, and you have some cash. So you slip your cash in and then zip it right up. And now nobody's looking for a hair scrunchie to have money in it. So that's a great little hack, a little tip. You may already know that most cruise lines allow you to bring two 750 milliliter bottles of wine per cabin. You might not know, Disney, they allow two per person. That's a lot. My friend just went on a Disney cruise and she said that they brought the bottle of wine to the main dining room and to have it open. There's a corkage fee of $25. The waiter said, you know, if you just put in a glass in your cabin and bring it down, we don't have to charge you for opening the bottle. And so she got a great idea. She said, you know, she had a coffee cup with a lid. She filled her coffee cup with the lid, wine. That way you're not walking down the hall carrying a bottle or glass of wine. And when she got to the main dining room, she just asked for a glass, poured it in. No corkage fee. At night, I don't like carrying a water bottle around, but during the day, de definitely I carry water bottles. So this one's cool because it works great. You just fill it with water. And then when you're done drinking, it folds up like this. So you just open the lid. You're done with your water. Fold it down. Put the lid back on. Voila. Now, when you're carrying them around the ship, here's how I like to carry them. I like to take my water bottle, look, and I like to carry it in a carrier like this. Bam. There's all sorts of different kinds of carriers. Some they have pouches on them, like that you could put your phone in. So look around, see what they have. I just like this one because I like leopard. This is my favorite item. I love it so much. I have one for myself. I bought one for my one niece. I bought one for for my other niece. Okay, here's what it is. It's not a shower cap. Okay, here we go. Bam. You open it up, call a lay and go. So all your things are in it. So when you go on your cruise, you just open it up, put on your makeup, and then when you're done, you just whoop, send it up, lay and go. What was your favorite gadget? Remember, they're all linked in the description below. And if you have something to add to the list, leave it in the comments section. I want to know what else is out there. And if you want to look and see what my complete list for beginners is, watch this video next. Happy sailing!